as a Buddhist, as a Buddhist monk. The, the, you know the various different religion, religions. Of course, in spite of the different philosophy, different tradition, all have you see, the same message. The essential message is more or less the same. That is compassion, love, and kindness, and forgiveness. So these things. So, and the way is to pursue to sorry, sorry, pursue these goals, they utilize different method or different philosophy. Sometimes I call you see the uh, like you see supermarket. It's a different religions. That is like you see the religious supermarket. So you can, you can, you have, I mean, we have liberty, you see, to choose uh, what is su su more suitable to you. So therefore, the more variety of religions is more benefit for more variety of people. That's, that's clear. And also the each religion have some, I think, the special, speciality. Sorry. Speciality. Speciality. So some people, because of, you see, the uh, conflict due to different religion, some people, I think, they're fed up about these different religions. So, you see, they prefer uh, worldwide one religion, unified one religion, some say like that. But then I do not, I, I don't agree that. Because if, you see, we try to make one religion, then I think we may lose many good uh, teachings of different religions. So it is much better, you see, to keep you see, different religions as it is. And at the same time, the, I do not see, I do not think about, I do not think, you see, the, what, what you call fun, fun, uh, fundament, fundamentalism. fundamentalism. You see, these new sort of absurd way. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily, I think, due to religions, but rather, I think, the weakness of human being. We manipulate religion. You see, sometimes we, uh, this seems like, because of that, sometimes we often have the sort of false uh, notion that um, uh, religion is not, um, religion is not there for your benefit, something that you can uh, derive benefit from. Rather, uh, you are serving the religion, as if you are being of benefit to the religion. So, you see, don't bother about the religious teaching, whether I really, you see, follow or practice or implement sincerely or not. Not thinking this line, but rather, you see, the, uh, in the name of the different religion, then fight with, with other people, you see, criticize with other people, other tradition. Now, this is, I think, wrong. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you see, the, uh, firstly, all religion carry the same message, very, very valuable, useful message there. That's clear. Uh, then secondly, the variety of people need a variety of religion. That also clear. Even, I think, the requirement for this body, food, more variety, if we always have you see, one kind of meal, morning, lunch, dinner, then I think we will fed up. <laughs> so more variety, you see, different type of you see, day, lunch, a different type of you see, day, dinner. Oh, we prefer. Much heavier, isn't it? So if one hotel, you see, only one kind of meal served, then I think uh, people may not come in that hotel. So similarly, this mind, and so much, you see, the variety. Need, you see, so many different kind of, and the mental, you see, mental world, does much, I think, much sophisticated than this body. Even this is limited, you see, the kind of, you see, the body, also need a variety of food. In such case, the, this mind, you see, no question, you see, there's so many variety, therefore, many religions is essential. Now, individual case, some people, to some people, they, they the religion which is based on 
God or the theory of creator is more effective because it is, there, is, there is creator, there is God almighty. It's everything depends on, on, that, on, 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 on it. So therefore, the, if you follow according to God's wish, you will, be, uh, you will get benefit. So then, what is the God's wish? Be a warm-hearted person, good person. Love to God, love to fellow human being. These two things, to me, I think the God's real message or religious, I think those traditions, main message is love to fellow human being. That's, I think, the main message. In order to do that, this is God to, love to God. So now, whether this is someone, I mean, the, the Christian, Christian people, one Christian individual, whether that person really loving God or not, you see, uh, the like experiment is the, uh, whether that person truly love, uh, showing love towards fellow human being or not. If that person truly showing love towards fellow human being, then that person really loves God. If the person, this is showing some more hatred rather than love towards a fellow human being, then his, you see, the, the word, you see, love to God is just a lip service. Lip service. So that is clear. So, is the first, you see, the, the goal is same. Then Buddhist and also Jain, Jainism and Buddhism and some part of the ancient Hindu, the Sangha philosophy, which do not accept creator. Then, you see, according to these religion, you see, they, there is no creator, ultimately, ourselves as a creator. So the main, show, main responsibility remain on our own shoulder. Be careful. You see, your own future depend on your behavior. You cannot blame on anyone, anyone else but, but yourself. So that way of persuasion, that way of approach is, to some people, that's more effective. So the Buddhist way, to some people, is Jainism or Buddhism, this way is more effective. So therefore, you see, the, each religion has, you see, the, the special sort of, you see, the uh, technique Accordingly, it's a different mental, mental disposition. So, so therefore, you see, once we realize, once we think this line, then automatically we develop respect. Or the, so you see, mutual, res, mutual respect, mutual sort of uh, understanding. Uh, and then, not only is it... Uh, then you see that through that, we even you see get some benefit uh, for how to say, enriching survey. So, so, enriching. No. Enriching. Now, for example, you see my own case, I learned many good things from you see, Christian practitioners, Christian tradition. But similarly, some Christian brothers and sisters you see, learned some Buddhist technique, even they adopt according to their own religion, religious practice. So therefore, you see, they uh, live together harmoniously and exchange with different experiences. So it, uh, it, it enriched both system or both, you see, the tradition. So the uh, recent years now, I think generally, the, let's say, among the religious tradition, there are some sense of, how to say, the, Pluralism is now is growing. That's, I think, a very positive sign. And as a religious person, I think we also have the responsibility to increase that kind of, you see, the broad-minded concept. That's very, very essential. Among humanity, I think we have enough, you see, the reasons to fight one another. And then on top of that, even religion so add on it, I think very bad, I think very sad, very, very unfortunate. Suppose religion is 
they making harmony between people. But then you see that very instrument of very hard say, very kind of that factor become you see another factor for more division among humanity is I think very sad. So therefore this is you see another level. You see the unity, harmony between different religion is 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 you see, uh, one of our responsibility, common responsibility. I always try to make a contribution. Sometimes I feel in this respect, I think I made some contribution, some little contribution. As far as Tibetan Buddhist is concerned, our relation with Christian brothers and sisters is quite, uh, I think, mm, I think, as I say, much progress is take place. Especially is it through exchange program. The Tibetan Buddhist monks, nuns, visited some Christian monasteries or Christian community in the span, you see, some cases, a few weeks. And not only is it the intellectual discussion, but actually participated in their 24 hours, I'll say, the spiritual life. So that tremendous benefit. It, it very, very beneficial to, to, to develop deep understanding. So I often feel the, now the, the closer relation between different religious head is very essential. Now, for example, say in India, uh, through centuries, the, the, harm, the spirit of harmony on the basis of ahimsa or tolerance, is through, through centuries, India has such a wonderful tradition there. Then in recent years, some unfortunate things say, happen. When such things happen, and then you see some you see, individual people you see, manipulate you see, this situation. And then religious head, you see, due to lack of personal contact, in usual, in usually, normally. In, in, in normally, you see, the lack of personal contact. So you see, some you see, such critical things happen. Then they cannot, I say, they cannot come forward. A little bit of hesitation. If normal, normally, so some closer relations there, then such things happen. Then they can, they can speak out. It's a common language or common word. It, it can, it, it will definitely, you see, influence. Each religious leader sit on a throne and, you see, uh, less speak. <laughs> that, that sometimes is create a lot of problem. <laughs> so, so I think too much formality. I, I see some, some additional obstacle, not good. So, so the, you see, the, the, I think the, uh, this is just an example. So the various, I think, the, uh, the part of the world, the religious leader, I think they often meeting. Actually, this morning uh, is my meeting with the Archbishop Canterbury. You see, he mentioned a uh, recent, recent month, recent time, the, he had some, what do you say? Interfaith dialogue. Uh, <coughs> Interfaith dialogue. Interfaith dialogue. He mentioned this. Such things are wonderful. So, so that's, I think, very, very important one. This is one thing.